guys, welcome to my channel. And for those who are joining me for the first time, welcome. In our video today, I'm going to show you how to make aloe vera oil and aloe vera leave-in conditioner for massive hair growth. Now let's get busy. So here we have fresh aloe vera plant. I bought this fresh aloe vera plant from Myers for about $1.99. What we want to do is we want to cut off this white piece here. And then after we cut off this piece, we want to cut about a three inch slice of the aloe vera plant. And ladies, you want to get you a skillet ready. So then what we want to do is cut the sharp edges off. And then what we want to do next is we want to dice very thin slices of the aloe vera plant, which is filled with so many minerals for the hair. One of the things I found out if you have a hair fallout, aloe vera ladies. You want to take extra virgin olive oil about a cup full. You want to also take about a half of a cup of Jehovah oil or whatever oil that you would like. These are only suggestions that I have. Here I have vitamin E oil. Now you want to eyeball it. You put in what you want, ladies. Also, I'm using the tree oil here. Tree oil, it keeps the hair healthy and moisturized. A great oil for the hair. So you want to take all of the ingredients here, the oils and the aloe vera, and put it in a skillet, and you want to put it at medium, medium temperature, ladies. And you want to stir it. And what you're going to be looking for is like a brown, cons you want the aloe vera to turn like brown, and then you know it's ready. It usually take about 15 to 20 minutes at medium temperature. So you want to get you a mason jar, or I found this jar here at Walmart for about $3. You want to pour the oil into the jar. Be careful, ladies, that you don't get the little small pieces of aloe vera in your jar. I love this aloe vera oil. I've tried it, and my hair loves it. My hair is soft and moisturized. There you have it, ladies, the aloe vera oil. But what you want to do next, ladies, is you want to take this container. I found this container at Sally's for about $3. And you want to pour the aloe vera, take your funnel and pour the aloe vera into the container. And this way you can use it more easily when you want to apply it to your scalp for massaging your scalp, and putting it into your hair. Such a great, uh, product for the hair and you know what it's a DIU it's a do-it-yourself there you have it aloe vera oil so next ladies what we're going to make is the aloe vera leave-in conditioner this means you leave the conditioner in your hair you do not rinse it out the best time to put it in there you can put it in there when you do on your wash days or just to refresh your hair during the week so I'm cutting it into about four pieces here. That part I'm just gonna put to the side. I want you ladies to go back and watch the videos in the description box where I have the best pre poo for moisturizing hair along with how to keep maximum moisture in natural hair. So I'm just cutting the ends off here. They can be kind of sharp, so be careful with the knives as well ladies. So after you get all the ends cut off, what you're going to want to do is you want to take your knife and cut off that top layer, get as close to that top layer as you can, because you want to save the middle of that aloe vera in there. So cut just the top layers of all of those small pieces off. That aloe vera, I tell you, it repairs dead skin cells on the scalp. It acts as a, a great conditioner. For the hair, it makes the hair strong and smooth. It is such a great plant. And most importantly, what we want is hair growth and it does maximum extreme hair growth for the hair. So there we have a bowl here. What we want to do is take our spoon 
We want to begin to scrape the aloe vera off the plant into the bowl. You can, as you're scraping it, you're going to find out that it is a messy job. But just take your time getting the aloe vera out of there. But the aloe vera is also good for dandruff. It's a dandruff remedy. It also, ladies, conditions and it nourishes the hair. Such a great plant. Thank God for aloe vera. <laughs> so look, I'm just getting all the aloe vera out. You can see it's messy as it runs down my hand there. So what I got, I also got is a blender. Ladies, you want to get you a blender for the next step that we're going to do here. a little messy but we're going to get that aloe vera out because that's what we want to put in our hair for healthy long hair so what we're going to do there we have it we're going to take these lumps and we're going to put it into our blender so when we put it in the blender what you're going to look for is a smooth Consistency. You want to get all of those lumps out, so you want to blend it as long as you need to. Even if it turns to like a creamy look, that's okay. You want to get those lumps out. So once you finish blending it, you want to take your jar or container, and you want to take like a knee-high stocking, and you want to put it around the rim of your jar or your container. Because what you're going to do next is you're going to take that aloe vera and pour it in the center of that knee high. So pour it all in there. And once you get it all in there, you want to take that knee high off of the container. You want to take the top of the knee high and hold it in your hand and begin to push down all that aloe vera into your container as you're pushing it down oh just wonderful aloe vera is going down it's a little messy but hey again when you apply this to your hair you're going to have healthy growing hair so you have to push down two or three times do that to get all of that aloe vera out into your container there you have it aloe vera leave-in conditioner so next what you're going to do is I want to actually show you why we put that in the knee high. You see that little white stuff there? That stuff would have end up in your hair if you didn't use the knee high. That's the extra virgin olive oil that we're going to mix with our mix. You want to eyeball it ladies, extra virgin olive oil. It's good for hair growth and thickening up the hair. There we have the vitamin E oil, which is good for improving the scalp and hair health. Black Jamaica castor oil, it's also good for thickening of the hair. And then my favorite, Jehovah oil. I love this oil, it's rich in vitamins and minerals for nourishing the hair. Now this lavender oil is an essential oil. I use it for the scent because aloe vera can tend to have like a musty smell. But when I applied and put in this lavender into the my mix, I had such a wonderful aroma as I began to stir it all together. So ladies, what you're going to do now is you're going to take your bottle. I found this bottle here at Like the Beauty Supply Store for about $3. You're going to take a funnel and you're going to pour your mix into your bottle. So there you have it, ladies. You have aloe vera leave-in conditioner. Listen, ladies, I want to thank you so much for joining me on today. Remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, click that notification button, and also tell people about my channel. Put comments in the, in the comment section. I'm on YouTube and I'm on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me, ladies. Bye!